Hey everybody, welcome to Alicia today. So today I'm gonna go over with you guys um, how to use that uh, card jig or water, wallet bottle opener jig that I made. Um, so if you guys are interested, then let's get into it. So I have my file open already and I have my jig that I made in there. So what we wanna do first is we want to, I put in just uh, the replacements. So these are the ones I cut out, it's red acrylic. So I put those in this spot just to test out this spot and then this edge. So the top left and the bottom right. So first what we wanna do is we wanna get the distance. So in Excel Creative Space, you want to click out of it and you want to hit distance. So that's measuring the distance from the material to the laser. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to line up your laser with the crosshair so you see how let's see let me move it out of the way you see how there's the crosshairs here so try to line up your laser okay so what i'm doing here is i'm gonna line up the jig inside of Q inside of creative space with the crosshairs for the laser so I'm going to zoom in so I can really see about lining it up All right, so it looks good to me. So then what we're gonna do next from here is add the design. So how we're all the design, I'm gonna zoom out again and move it so you guys can see. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the design. So I'm gonna size this down. This is gonna be for the wall wallet bottle openers and I need it to try to not get where the opener part is so it's I can't use the whole entire design area so I'm just going to try to guesstimate where I think it will be and it looks like it's lined up right there so I'm going to leave that there so I have one in this spot so I'm going to try to get one for this bottom right so that I can test both sides. Move this down here. Okay. So next what I want to do is I just want to make sure so it's already on acrylic or it's not supposed to be on acrylic but for this I should say it's on acrylic because I am cutting on acrylic. I need to make sure I change the settings when I do the bottle bottle wallet bottle openers. So that looks good to me. Then I'm going to select so make sure when you have your jig that it's on ignore. And then you're going to select what your design is and then just look to see what it has. So it's on engrave for that one and also on engrave for the other one. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit process. I'm going to close the lid and then I'm going to hit start.
Make sure you have your safety goggles on. So right now it's engraving that first one. And so we're gonna see if it centers it. So that's why I have um, the crosshairs to line up to see if I can make sure everything gets centered. So we're gonna see if it goes from that first one all the way over to this last one. And then I'll put the wallet bottle holders in there. So, so far this is, it's been one minute for this. So while that's going, I wanted to show you guys, um, these are the practice ones I've done. So as you can see, this one's off center. And then they have like, it's kind of like a brownish, bronzes tint to it um, for both. And that was just on the stainless steel setting. Um, so what I did was I did some engraving tests. So I'm gonna test out these settings when I do my first um, wallet bottle opener and see if it looks like how I want to before I do the whole thing. So I have to make 145 of these. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, batch processing, how to make multiple of these at once. And I need to engrave the front and the back. So that's why you saw the front and the back design. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna use Mm, let's see maybe this one so I would put in speed at 158 power at 78 and then for this one I think this one I kind of like that one but it looks like it might just be a little burnt on the edges so I'm not quite sure if I want to do this one or this one so then I might try this the settings for this so you'll see I'm gonna try to do I think maybe I'll try to do this setting and then this setting and then I'll show you guys that when we get to that part so it is done I'm gonna wait for the air assist to go off okay So this one to me looks like it's really close to the bottom. I don't know if I like that. However, it looks centered, so that's good. This one I feel like looks perfect. It's not too close to the bottom. So I think that that looks good. Okay. So let's move on to testing out those settings on both of the wallet holes bottle openers. Okay, so we're gonna do a test on the black one first. So again, I think I wanna try using speed 158, power 78. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out so we can see everything. And so I'm going to make sure I select my design. It's on engrave. Oh, you know what? What I want to do first is I want to change this to stainless steel. Dog tag. And then I'm going to select my design. Make sure it's on output. And then I'm going to use those settings that I had. So for the power... It says 78. For the speed, it said 158. And then I'm going to leave everything else the same. I'm going to go down to this one as well. Let's see. Select that one and put in the same setting. So I'm going to put in, uh oh, undo. If ever, if ever you make a mistake, just hit the undo button. Okay. So for power, it said 78 was good for the one I like. 
and then 158. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do next is you want to put the laser over your material. I've shown you guys this before. You hit this distance. Once it has the distance, I already did the design, I'm going to push process and start. Oh, and then make sure you close your lid before you start. So I closed it, I'm going to confirm I close it, and then I'm going to do OK again. Process. Start and then push your start button. Again, make sure you have your safety goggles on. And these are with the settings I showed you guys off of the array to test the engraving on this particular uh, bottle opener. I'll get back to you guys when it's done. So it took about four minutes. And here's the finished product. I think I like it. Okay, so let's see. Just trying to see it more close up. I'm gonna try to take it into another room so we can see if it looks better in there. So this is what they look like. I wiped it off with a baby wipe and they looked beautiful. I think I am going to leave the settings like this. I think they look good. So let's move on to batch processing. Okay, so now that they're all in there, let's go to designing. What I do now is just make sure that your crosshairs are lined up um, inside of your X tool and then on creative space and so it moves slightly since I moved it a little bit when I was taking out the last bottle openers so I like the sizing of this so I'm going to keep the sizing And then just make some minor adjustments. Okay. Select this one. No, I sometimes it's like so finicky. So I like the sizing of that as well. Okay, just double checking again, everything looks okay on there. I think I might move this one up just a little bit. Up. Okay, and then I guess I want to do all of them the same. So I'm going to take this one off to the side and I'm going to do ignore. And then I'm going to take this one and then let's see, can I do array, grid, and there's one, two, three, four, five columns, and there's three rows. And for the spacing, let's see, let's do let's 
So I'm just playing around with it just to see like how it looks on the screen. That looks too close. Let's see. Kind of feel like point four looked okay. Mm -mm -mm. So to me, it looks good like that. And then, so for the spacing for the Y, I'm gonna move that down as well. Let's see, let's do it. So I'm trying to get it to look like that first one, which it looks like it's pretty much lined up on everything except for that bottom one the bottom one to me looks like it's further up so if I do point one I feel like that one made it go down too much let's see point oh five I feel like that looks perfect so I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna push okay. Everything looks like it's lined up to me. So then I'm gonna go here to this um, one right here, make sure it's, yep, it's on ignore. And then it's on stainless steel dock tag. When I push on the, it's still in the same setting. So I have 78 and 158. So then I'm going to close the lid. And I'm going to push. Process. Making sure that it shows all of them on there and it does. And then I'm going to push start. And then we'll see how long this one takes. So far, 25 seconds, and it looks like how if I do the array, it's going to do them one at a time. So I thought it might go, instead of going like one at a time, going through, I thought it might go like that, which I would think would be faster, but it didn't. So we'll just do it like this and see how much time it takes. And then um, the next time I do it, I'm going to make them a group that will help it to maybe go faster, so we'll test both ways. So, so far 25 seconds, and it looks like how if I do the array, it's going to do them one at a time. So I thought it might go, instead of going like one at a time, going through, I thought it might go like that, which I would think would be faster but it didn't. So we'll just do it like this and see how much time it takes. And then um, the next time I do it, I'm gonna make them a group and maybe that will help it to maybe go faster. So we'll test both ways. So I don't know if you guys can see so well because I have the window open. Um, but let me try to point to you. So it did this one, then it did the second one. And then it went down to this, and then it's back up here doing this third one on this line. That's very interesting. It's about 38 minutes. 
and it's done with the first side. This time I'm going to try to do it with the um, all the images together. So I'm going to highlight them all. I'm going to push group so that it's one image and then I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to zoom in to make sure everything is lined up. Once everything looks lined up to me, And then I'm going to push process. So I'm going to push start. And this time, this is the one where they're grouped together. So let's see how long this one takes. So let's see what it does. So it looks like it's doing the same thing. They're grouped together, but it's still doing one at a time. So we'll see if it goes faster this way, but it looks like it's going to do the same thing. So lastly, I just wanted to show you guys once it's done, I've cleaned off most of them. So I have like a lot of, this is just a baby wipe. And what I do is I just take it and then I just rub it, get all the soot off of there. Of course, I'm doing it with one hand, but I, I just wipe them down really good and then it gets off the extra little material that got engraved and then that's it so thanks for watching Alicia today I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you have any questions leave them down below comment down below rate subscribe thank you stay blessed